I don't remember. I think it was just home and we just waited till um, the ball dropped in New York City. Okay, nothing crazy. Nothing we were expecting like a crazy, you know, I went out and partied. But... I wish that was the case. Yeah, I wish that was the case. OJ Simpson is dead. OJ Simpson just died, y'all. Imagine that. Bam is tough, man. And I like tough. And uh, he's passed, so we didn't want you to sort of not know, because we just got it, so yeah. we're passing and it on to I've been asked to comment on the death of O.J. Simpson. Foremost, I'd like to express my condolences to the children, to Sydney and to Justin, to Jason and Arnell. They lost their father, and that is never easy. I wish to express my love and compassion to the Goldmans, to Fred and to Kim, I hope you find closure. And finally, to the family of the beautiful Nicole Brown Simpson, may we always cherish her memories. Nicole was a beacon of, of light that burned bright. May we never forget her. Recent years, um, really recent years, uh, I unfortunately caught cancer. And so I had to do the whole chemo thing. And uh, I had been told by a couple of close friends of mine and a number of the guys that I play golf in my golf league who are older guys uh, who smoke pot while they're playing golf. Uh, that it, and the doctor, to be honest, even the doctor said, uh, you're gonna have that uh, nausea. And uh, they wanted to give me some pills. And I said, well, I heard pot was pretty good. You know, gummies and stuff was pretty good for the nausea. And they said, yeah, yeah, it does work. But I got to be honest with you. I started smoking a little bit, a couple of puffs a day. Uh, and I've only had nausea twice in my whole, I'm over the COVID stuff. I mean, I mean I'm sorry, the chemo, I'm over that. I had COVID and cancer at the same time, unfortunately. But I'm over the, the chemo. But I only had uh, got nauseous on two occasions and it only lasted about two or three minutes. Uh, so I thought the pot really helped me uh, with that form of the, of the unfortunate side of uh, uh, catching cancer. Uh, in any event, I'm healthy now. Uh, it looks like I beat it. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Uh, I am, I live in Nevada, so I, I'm all for pot. I think it should be legal. Uh, I had lost 30 pounds. It uh, helped me get uh, appetite and get my weight back on. Plus, it helped me sleep. Uh, so it, 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 it worked for me. That he has died, Diane. Alex, such a national... OJ Simpson is dead. Trial for the murder That's of his wife and Damn. His and her friend. Man, Mr. Morgan C, Morgan yesterday, they're going threes. Now, so many years later. Mr. C, yesterday... <laughs> about that damn murder. The lines that came out of that, if it does not fit, you must acquit. The, the impact of that trial, for those who were not alive during that time, were not old enough to remember it, 
was incredible. The whole world watching that trial. Well, the fucking right. Everybody watched that shit. Watching TV and listening to the radio, waiting for that verdict to come down. And then when it came down, much of America did not agree with it. And then he was sometimes almost comically in and out of the, the headlines over many years. And then to get in trouble Damn, again OJ. in Las Vegas to get back his own memorabilia. Prostate cancer. The memorabilia trade and selling his items over many years. And then went into to retirement, always claiming he was what a way to wake up. the real killers of OJ Nicole Simpson and, and Ron Goldman. OJ and there were those who were saying he wasn't doing enough to do that if he really was not involved in, in the murders. But he, he then went into retirement in Florida, went into retirement in Florida and Nevada, and uh, had been relatively quiet over the last couple of years. Alex Stone, thank you. And again, Juice. we have breaking news that O.J. Simpson has died. His family says he succumbed to his battle with prostate cancer. O.J. Simpson was 76 years old. And we're going to return you now to your regular programming. For those of you in the West, that's Good Morning America. Our coverage is on ABC News Live and ABCNews.com. Oh. And we will have the very latest on World News tonight. I'm Diane Macedo in New York. Have a good rest of the day. All right, y'all. This has been a special report from ABC News. The first brave little team of the plunge and many others following. The end of an era. Of um, the only other question I have is uh, Mace, can you button that suit? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You back, oh, oh. Wow. You back, oh. Wow. 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 The guys who own the bank don't button their jackets, oh. oh <laughs> the right. employees got to button their jacket and come correct, oh.